Perry, 660, um, 6,800 horsepower, 900 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower, switch to four-wheel, two-motor truck. The truck is a rigid bolster, four-wheel swivel type, fully equalized property weight, distributing both, both axles of one piece frame, the cast steel of the frame, the spring supported with through the parallel range with the coil, semi-elliptical springs carried to the two equalizer each side. The addition of the center swivel, um, swivel, swiveling bearing, the two sides of the bearing face with the wear of place, integral with the frame, the true safety locks with that serving limiting device are located with the side bearings. Axle journal bolt boxes, standard pla um, plane with the bearing, but um, journals are mounted with the pedestal cast of the um, integral with the frame. If there is one quarter inch total lateral movement in each for the axle of the box, addition with one sixteenth of the track, total of movement of the box and pedestal lateral thr actual thrust taken directly through the axle, stop then into each of the journal box, the traction motor drive to each of the box, actual through the single gear of the pinion of the motor, get, um, or carry the suspension bearings over the axle spring mounting with the truck frame, carrying nose and cooling the air and supplied with the motors of the whole, whole, whole hollow bol bolster and center plate. The brakes are clasped with the two type powered two duplex cylinders per type truck with the plan with the pad cast integral with the truck frame brake and the hanger bracket are also cast integral with the frame. The manual operated slack adjusters are provided in order to compensate for the brake shoes wear limit. Where wheel where wear provided is made in the foundation of the brake equipment for the handbrake connection. Removal axle wheel and box assembly with the motors. Remove the axle wheel box and assembly from the truck with the underneath the locomotive of the drop table is necessary with the provision of the procedures as follows. Remove the flexible air duct boot connecting the motor from the truck frame bolster. Place the blocking underneath the equalizer on the side of the locomotive to hold the front of the dropping of the axle load box and wheel assembly and lower it. Remove the pedestal tie bars on the pedestal assembly to the drop. Disconnect the motor leads. Remove the standard pipe to the end and assemblies each with the truck. Remove the brakes and bottom of the whole rods, jack the motor nose, remove the suspension, assembly or C item 3 for the assembly of the trucks. 8. Lower the nose of the, until the safety lugs of the motor rest on the truck frame suspension spring bracket. Allow the drop table to settle slowly, keeping the motor's nose up by the jack so that the motor safety lugs will pass on the lugs of the truck frame. You need to lower the assembly until it's free of the truck. All right, reinstall the um, reinstalling axle of the box. So some of the operations should be performed, particularly with reverse sequence for the removal of the assumed for the equalizer, are still blocked for assembly removal. Um, then, when the axle assembly resting on the drop table, the more correctly position the tilter with the nose so that the safety will then pass with the frame lugs raising. Ra raise the assembly with until the safety lugs can rest on again at the top of the lugs. Two, continue to raise the assembly with the normal position. The pedestal apply with the caps. Remove the blocking under the equalizer. Apply the motor note. Suspension uh, spring assembly of the sheet. The item three seven. The reassemble the truck. Re reapply the bottom pull, pull rods. Reconnect the motor leads. Re reapply um, standard pipes. Apply the motor air duct boot and air brakes and check the lubrication packaging. All right, moving the equalizer springs, trucks, and locomotive. Remove the pedestal for the high bar traction motor for the air duct booth. Dro dro drop the brake pole rods. If the slack adjuster ends with the brake brake rig and lifting rig from the overhead crane with the jack uh, by the jacks, preferably lifting rig raise the locomotive cab. The lifting lugs under the safety hooks between the cab and the trucks engaged with the drop, ta drop table. The standard, standard battery supports may be used under the circumstances where the axle wheel assembly should be lowered with the truck frame instead of the frame being lifted from them at the hoist jacks. For the continued lifting until the weight is removed with the semi elliptical spring with the and supporting the semi elliptical spring move with the hanger pin for the drop hanger to move. Continue raising the locomotives until the oil spring is going to be lifted with an high, high enough to allow the equalizer springs to, sit, to be removed toward the center of the truck from or under the coil springs. All right, drop the coil springs between um, between the equalizer, remove the equalizer spring seat, move the semi elliptical spring lowering around the between the equalizer. Reinstallation of the spring, re re reverse the removal procedure. All right, move, remove the load of the truck. Before completing the truck, can be removed with the baby knee for the locomotive that is necessary to relieve the truck of the trucks of the chassis weight that is required that either the crane or hoist the jacks to be lifted with the left and locomotive the battery stationary body is supported. Using the conjunction with the drop table, the installation of the red jacking lifting diagram, figure 46, 47, 48, show the location of which should be supported with approximate loads involved. The following procedure should be observed with the wood blocking should be used between the chassis support points and let jack lugs. The lifting device, the lifting should be uniform both sides of the cab, preventing unnecessary strain with the cab structs of the cab should not be lifted in excess of more than one end of the each at the other until the body swivel the cast and um, has become disabled from the truck swivel bowl. Before removing the truck, disconnect the safety hooks and end each of the side of the truck and the, and the side bearings by area brake piping housing the end and brake hand brakes connection sand sanders and traction motor lead the track is not Truck is not dis to be dismantled. Lifting required can be reduced by blocking is provided between the bottom of the journal box and pedestal of the tie bar that the equalizer spring cannot raise the truck truck frame. 
After the truck may be removed by any one of the three different procedures by dropping the table, which requires the use of the stationary body support, lifting rig overhead crane by jacking and lifting the chassis sufficient amount of the engine to swivel casting so that to provide clearance above the track so that they may be moved laterally from beneath. The locomotive using a turntable transfer table. By jacking or lifting as an item two above the sufficient amount to remove the track, the trucks longitudinally along the track, and if the raising the chassis is sufficient to clear the draft gear and the steps having first been removed. The reference should be then ma be made jacking and lifting. Diagram figure 46, 47, 48 details the lift and load involved when they're using the pla jacks placed under the cab. The lifting lugs proceed that they're using lifting of the rig above. If they're available, the jacks have only limited travel. They may be necessary to block under the cab after reaching the limit of until jack travel. Um, just jack recess jack with a repeated lift. All right, disassemble the truck. Remove all the pedestal tie bars. Remove the traction motor air duct boost from the mo um, between the motor and bolts. Remove the all motor nose suspension springs and the manassas files in figure 37. Um, jack lift and um, no, mo motor noise sufficient to compress the nest of approximately one half inch. Remove the cotter tighten pins of the spring hold holder bolts. Use the split washer to take up the space between the nest and spring holder lower bolts. Lower motors, lower, lower motors, so no, those no longs so that are free of the spring nest. All right, remove the pin, keep the drop drop vertical vi pins. Um, sl um, slide the spring nest out, spring nest out sideways. All right, four or eight. I'll again, raise the motor nose that's provided with the clearance preparatory for the remove of the frame. Ra um, raise the nose with the significant amount of the, so that the frame lugs will clear the motor with the safety lugs when the frame is lifted upward for the axle wheel bearing assembly. Um, provide the frame equalizer clamp of device consisting of an eight and one eight and one quarter one and one quarter inch um, diameter bolt, three and one inch long thread of the six feet long and all inches long at each of the nut and eight steel bars, to eighteen by three quarter of an inch by three. Inches by one inch at each of the with one three eighth of an inch diameter hole at the each end of the hole is to be to be for a four and three quarter of an inch apart with the center of the center. With the parts noted in item five, compressing the frame equalizer, suddenly placing it on the one of the bars at the top of the frame, both sides at each end of the brake cylinder, to the hole on one at each of the bar, each of the bar directly over the slot frame, the width of the top of the brake lever projects. Um, past the bottom does not pass the bolt pass bolts down through the holes in the top bar through the slot using the hanging from the lower end of the hanging of the bot beneath the bottom edge of the equalizer the passing bolts down through the holes outside of the equalizer applying the bottom bars to each of the par pair of bolts underneath the equalizer applying the nuts. All right, tighten the nuts top of the bottom until the springs are compressed. Sufficient amount to remove the pull pull rod pins and the opposite slack adjuster past bottom edge equalizer. Remove the pull rod pins and the slack adjuster ends. Remove the pull rods with a crane or lift frame the or an equalizer assembly of the off the wheel and the axle assembly. Release the clamps. Remove the lift the frame of the equalizer assembly. Remove the spring disassembly springs equalizer assembly. Twelve. If the truck is being dismantled over the pit, if possible, remove the motor without December being the rest of the truck as follows: remove the suspension spring nest at its item three above. Remove the air duct. But boot between the motor and truck frame bolts. Remove the gear in case of the dust guard lifting the motor at the nose end of the end until the cap of the suspension bearing is at the bottom. Unbolt the cap of the butt drop. Um, access to the care on handling the suspension bearings. Bearing is the half, one half to be removed the cap. The other half removed after the cap is removed. If not removed, the restraining inner and the half of the life motor off the axle to prevent injury for the personnel during the work and lifting motor clear of the axle. This shows your traction motor, nose support, springs holder bolt, spring holder bolt, pin keepers. Inspection maintenance. The following items should be inspected with the comparing product periodically with figure 38 and clearance allowing clearances and wearing limits. Vertical, horizontal, steel aligners, both and body of the tri swivel casting, pedestal wearing, forty face of the corresponding face of the journal box. Um, bearing wearing plates on the both truck and car cab under, under frame four um, spring hanger pins and bushings two when applying with the new liners to be um, sure that all edges of the rounded where they contact the surface before the wearing of the bearing and wedge wear limits of the AAR standard practice and the ICC regulations check lubrication for the swivel bowl tighten all the pipe connections checking the piping inspection the motor nose the spring holder for the wear if necessary replace the wear um, plates by place by rigging the pins and bushings, the excessive worn brake plate and parts should be placed. See foundation. Check the clearance between the brake shoes and the wheels. See the foundation brakes. For traction motor maintenance for 660 horsepower and uh, 1,000 horsepower locomotive maintenance manual TP700 for 800 horsepower, 900 horsepower maintenance manual um, instruction booklet. Check M1 2001 for traction motor maintenance. 
All right, wheels. When turning the wheel, replacing the ICC requires the diameter wheel of the same axle to should not vary with the three 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 and three three quarters inch. This is equivalent to approximately two and a half inch tape. The is our further recommendation: the wheel should not continue to serve at the diameter in the same truck varies more than one half inch or twelve and one half tape. The under the same locomotive until the very more the one inch to twenty five tape. The turning of the replacement with the new wheels and our the recommendation wheels should be not vary more than one half tape and one half the tape of the same axle, two tapes of the same truck, and fourteen tapes on the same locomotive. Wheels should be um, checked periodically where in accordance with the Interstate Commerce Commission re um, regulations accessory wear is found in check determination. All right, this shows your clearance wearing, um, your side bearing safety hook, your plan, um, your truck pedestal and box plan, your spring hanger, your overhead, your truck pedestal box, overhead box wearing in between pedestal liners, your truck bolt ped pedestal and box plan, roller bearings, um, truck center plate and truck center plate. If the brake shoes are free with the not binding with the flange or wheel tread, the brake hanger, the level of the hanger, the tube, not causing misalignment of the shoe, same pipe, the other parts of the three not following the brake rigging, thus preventing the normal operation extra, extra, ex, axle lateral non normal accessory um, by the reason war, worn pedestal liners, ex, axle end of the top, accessory variation, wheel diameter, see item one above. When applying new shoes, they must hang in the end of true and that threads. Note no, that on the, not on the brakes of the pins, but because of the vibrational shock will not cause shoes on the drag wheel, but shall permit the face of the shoes to conform with the wheel and as weak pro wear progresses, see all the foundation brakes. For wheel mounting, refer to figure 39. Our axle guard, axle gear, um, bore of axle gear is 9.991,000 to 9.1992,000. Diameter axle gear is 10, 10 inches or 10 and 1,000, 10 inches, 1, 10 and 1,000 of an inch. Um, 660, 660, 100 horsepower. Bore of the axle 9, 9.241 and minus, uh, equal, minus 9.42.2. Diameter axle gear 9.251 minus 9.2.51. For complete axle gear instruction, 660 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower locomotive maintenance manual, TP700 for the 800-900 horsepower locomotives. See maintenance instruction booklet, MI2001 traction motor maintenance. Motor suspension bearings, um, 800-900 horsepower diameter axle suspension bearings, which new is 9, 9 inches plus or minus 2,000 of an inch. As the axle wears, it must be turned into the following three excessive dynamics or undersized replacement bearings obtained. Scissor wheel axle, black axle assembly, assembly is pretty much the same as all the others. Um, 8, 8.93, 8.875, 8.813, plus or minus 2,000 inch, 66, 100, 1,000 horsepower diameter axle suspension bearings when drawn with 8.25 thousand of an inch or plus. Um, Two thousandths of an inch as the X wears may be turned with the following three successful diameters undersized replacement maintenance obtain eight point one eight eight inches, eight point one two five inches, eight point oh six three inches, plus or minus two thousand inch. For complete axle bearings instruction for the six hundred sixty sixty horsepower, one thousand horsepower local maintenance manual, TP seven hundred, eight hundred or nine hundred horsepower manual, maintenance instruction booklet M one two thousand four four traction motor maintenance seaport bulletin DRP thirteen seventeen for undersized bearings and All right, foundation, um, foundation um, brakes manual slack adjusted initially with um, approximately three um, eighths of an shoe. Three eighths of an inch shoe um, with the new wheel of the brake shoe. The setting will allow the approximately two inch position to travel the brake application. The slack adjuster will take up the approximately one and one eighth of an inch brake shoe with the wear plus one and one half of the radial wear when the position travels to the four inch of the beginning of the reason for the shoe. But the wear adjusting should be made to obtain, again obtain the normal 22 inches of the wind. Applying the new shoes, release the adjust, adjusters, insert the new shoe, and then so that the slack adjuster is obtaining the initial two inch position. Nuts on the brake brake head pin should be adjusted so that the variation shock will not ca cause the drag drag on the wheel shall permit the face of the shoe to conform with the wheels to progress. Replace the following brakes when specified min maximum wear limits. 
Um, pen brushing is worn with 364 of the inch radio clearance, nominal clearance of the new pins with 164 of the inch clearance. Hanger level and thickness of the pin was worn at one and eighth of an inch brake heads with a full rod slack adjuster when an H of the jaw member of the one sixteenth of an inch. Clevers of the wind when pin um, wearing pin holes in or lacking surfaces with one eighth of an inch brake heads the brace the ready is which becomes more than extent the new shoes keys will no longer hold the shoes tightly. Brake shoes are worn to the limit where the bark marks indicated on the same. Slack adjuster um, lubrication. Slack adjuster screw will have more lo longer life with operating much easier if if oiled whenever used at the oil hole provided with the screw block. All right, reassembly of the truck. Assembly equalizer replacing springs replace the frame of the equalizer. Assembly clamp of the C-Figure 567. Assembly of the truck. The traction motor. Motor nose supporting lugs um, facing toward the space axle. Axle sub, sub assembly. Axle assembly is at 8 foot. Centers hit raising black motor nose of the truck of the frame with the clear motor with the safety lugs of the black in position. When the crane lifting frame of the equalizer assembly the drop and place the axle wheel blocks of the motor and assembly replace the brake as bottom of the pull rods and pins. Move the clamping device lower the traction motor nose with only enough to allow the suspicion spring of the needs. Nest slid between the lugs of the motor frame with the poise of the vertical pins of the spring nest from the bottom applied with the pins of keepers and cutters. Cotters. Alright, note when the, suspension, when the suspension spring nest is positioned before the furthering of the lowering of the no, no, motors back off of the no, spring holder bolts and the remove of the split washer until the spring holders are fully expanded with the limits between the frame plug and the back off the one quarter inch further apply cotter pin. Um, eight, lower traction nose so that the lugs are rest on the suspension attached to the traction motor with the air duct boots that attach the pedestal tie bars and bolts. Reapplication of the truck locomotive. Any previous mentioned method of the truck removal will occur. Of course, that would be satisfactory. Apply and following the sequence of the procedure. First, fill the swivel bowl with one oil, with oil of the filling hole. Check the seal ring inside the trim frame center and the cast iron with worn damage rate to re replace. Um, either by lowering the locomotive by the truck or the raising the truck of the locomotive got the swivel plate into position causing an exercise care so it also should so not be to damage the air duct of the wet sleeve that was reading from the center of the truck bow. Reassemble the side bearing safety hooks, reconnect the traction motor slow generator that leads to the coming from the cab, reconnect the brake pipe, hand braking, assembly sander piping, move the tools and rags blocking equipment so that they are in the truck of the chassis, check the lubricating packing of the journal boxes. Adjust the center plate of the height when necessary to be raised. The center plate height to compensate the worn wheels. It may be done as follows. Adjust the liner to the total one inch baby. Applied to the under the coil spring equalizing spring. An additional one and a half liner one thick of an inch must be applied with the top of the coil spring in the frame pocket. Note that the liner must have two and one and a half inch diameter hole in the center to allow the seating over the spring sprocket to remain riveted. Additional one and quarter inch of the liner must be applied with the box and equalized pocket. It's under the each of the equal end of equalizers. And then it goes into a whole bunch of pictures.